Hi everyone, this is Salma Yaqub, an electronics and communication engineering graduate. First, I would like to thank all the organizers of this summit and the IET journal members for providing me an exciting opportunity to speak about my journey in the field of quantum communication as a woman. Saying this, I'm conscious of the fact that my journey in quantum communication has just begun and I've still got a long way ahead of me. Let me quickly give you an overview of what I'll be covering today. What I'll be covering today is my education, the internships and courses I did during my graduation, how I landed into quantum communication. I'll be giving you a brief info about quantum dot cellular automata nanotechnology, my published research, and that's it. So let's get started. I belong to a small town in the northern side of Kashmir, India. Yes, I do belong to the paradise of Earth. Uh, most of you must be aware that Jammu and Kashmir is world famous for its scenic splendor, exquisite monuments, hospitable people, and uh, much more. But maybe you may not be aware that Jammu and Kashmir is also has also produced um, famous poets scientists and researchers too. Speaking about my education, I've, re I've completed my high school in the year 2015 from Tendal Bisco and Melanson School. And I've recently graduated in electronics and communication engineering uh, from a regional university, Baba Gulam Shabacha University, which is a quite well-known university of Jammu and Kashmir region. Here is the picture of the university campus. It's a beautiful place located at the great, uh, at the foothills of Great Himalayan uh, Pir Panjal Range in Rajori District along the line of control. My region has been a power of tension since long. Of course, most of you must be aware of it. So uh, studying in such atmosphere, especially for a girl, I wouldn't say is challenging, but yeah, it's difficult. Somehow, after completing my high school, I managed to crack the entrance exam for bachelor's in technology at Baba Gulam Shabacha University. Unfortunately, due to lack of exposure, I couldn't aim for IITs. But how does it matter? I believe that education is something which can be achieved irrespective of place, age, and gender you belong. I would like to quote Nelson Mandela, who has been a constant inspiration in my life. He has rightly said that- Can I interrupt just one minute and ask you to, uh, the slides aren't changing. So if you could go into presentation mode. Okay. Yes. There you are, that's much better. Okay, thank you, sorry to bother you. Okay, okay. Is it all right now? Excuse me. Okay, let's get started again. Um, I would like to quote Nelson Mandela, who has been a constant inspiration in my life. He has rightly said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And I truly believe in it. It's no secret that um, science and gender equality aren't on the best of terms. Even in modern day, women are still heavily underrepresented in the fields pertaining to science, technology, and many more. For centuries, women have struggled for recognition of their academic achievements, and they rarely received it during their lifetime. But rather than focusing wholly on the negatives, let's focus on the positives as well. Women may still face enormous obstacles in pursuing science and technology, but we are much better off than we were a mere century ago, and I'm proud of it. As far as my childhood is concerned, I was a shy, skinny girl with big dreams in her eyes. But luckily, I got a very supporting guardian, my sister, who I consider to be a big part of my strength and a big role to play in amazing things for me, be it education or life. I believe that a woman, um, a woman uh, bears the utmost strength in a society. She can be a mother, a daughter, a sister, a wife, and above all, a driving force 
rather i would say a backbone for everybody in a family and beyond talking about my journey in quantum communication it all started during my graduation only but research is something that has fascinated me since my childhood i remember while everybody was in cinderella and barbies i used to watch documentaries of different scientific researchers in my early teens it may seem to be boring i did watch barbie though once the documentaries were over some of the my favorite documentaries that i would like to mention here are the internet's own boy the story of aaron swords and the future of work and death um see i didn't understand much back then but i would get excited to hear about new technologies and inventions and maybe that was the that was the uh, that because of that reason i was able to move into this field of research in my graduation i was uh, constantly into my internships i've done my internship major internship in embedded systems and internet of things and i've also been a vocational trainee at prasar bharti which is india's largest public broadcasting agency headquartered in new delhi apart from these internships i've also done some certified courses in python and android app development um these certification training courses helped me to master the concepts of programming and developing of apps and they also provided me an opportunity to gain in-depth expertise in writing python programs i have also uh, been uh, spe specialized in soft skills and workplace communication uh, which was organized by iit bombay it's one of the most uh, renowned institutes in india i believe that soft skills are something that one should constantly work upon they up to a large extent define your relationship at your workplace or in your personal life at the end of the day teamwork communication skills and time management are some of the important factors influencing your work um, as far as i am concerned i'm a keen learner and have a quest to learn new things every day and maybe due to this habit of mine i was able to jump into the field of research quantum communication became like a mere excitement for learning a new thing although it ended up being a part of me during um the third year of my graduation i started to work on the design of fault tolerant sequential circuits using nano communication applications using quantum dot cellular automata nanotechnology and this is when i landed into the field of quantum communication it was challenging for me to choose quantum communication as a field of research but thankfully one of my professors was a guiding light to me mm. you may all be aware that quantum dot cellular automata has become one of the rapidly most rapidly expanding nanotechnology research field and it has also received a lot of attention with an engineering community due to its extremely small feature size or um, ultra low power consumption compared to cmos technology let me now move on to my work done in quantum communication to be very precise this is the research paper that was that was published in february 2021 in iet journal the title of this paper is design of efficient n bit shift register using optimized deep flip flop in quantum dot cellular automata technology as you see from this slide now let me quickly give you an um, brief info about the optimized deep flip flop this is the optimized deep flip flop it consists of two outputs for a single input and a clock signal this flip flop tracks the input that is whatever is is at the input side we get the same at the output side as seen from the qc schematic it consists of uh, three majority voters and one inverter okay this is the qc layout of the flip flop that i have optimized it consists of 21 cells and cell area is also minimum when compared to other existing designs the simulation results of the optimized flip flop are taken using qc designer simulation tool so i think you got a good understanding of the optimized flip flop okay moving on to my other item which is the n bit shift register 
the n-bit chip register using the optimized flip-flop can be extended as shown in the block diagram. It's made by cascading the uh, optimized D flip-flop. To sum up, what I've done in my research is that I've given the design of optimized D flip-flop and n-bit shift register. And both the designs have proved to be efficient and utilize less number of cells, total area, cell area, latency, and quantum cost when, when they were compared with other existing designs. Alhamdulillah, I'm glad to share with you all that I have two more papers in this field that are in line to be published. Hopefully, they'll be published within a month's time. At last, I would like to conclude by thanking all the organizers of this summit, because by organizing such summits, girls will see more positive female role models involved in quantum communication, and hence, it would give them more confidence and a greater sense of um, belonging in these subjects. Also, I would like to share with you all highly dignified members that I, along with one of my friends, have decided to take an initiative to create more awareness about quantum communication by organizing various events in my area, which will be helpful to most of the students. With this, we can show young girls that quantum communication is fun, interesting, and most importantly, theirs too. That's all from my side. Thank you.